Today we are going to talk about the integration of marine education into water activities. Program Design Tamkang University as an example. This is a course that I have organized over the years for water events. In the past few years, some elements of marine education have been incorporated and introduced the canoeing courses to be held this semester. This is my personal biography. I graduated from the doctoral program of National Taiwan Sport University in 2018. This is my personal sports profile. My sports expertise is rowing. I have some water sport professional licenses, includes rowing, canoeing, sailing and life-saving coaches. I was in contact with rowing in high school. At that time, I was ranked fourth in the country. During my military service, I also served in the then Executive UN Sports Commission, Marine Sports Promotion Team as a substitute. I offer water recreation and water rescue courses at Tamkang University. Currently, I am also the instructor of the Aquatic Life Saving Club. This is a photo of our surfing trip to Wuxi Harbor in Yilin. This is a photo of our trip to Hualin to trace the stream. This is to go rafting in Hualin's Zugaluyun River. This is a photo of us training in water rescue. Includes stream training, sea training, deep pool training. This is our canoeing course and we will teach canoeing in the pool first. Afterwards, we will bring them to Tamsui River to teach outdoors. This is a picture of us canoeing in the Tamsui River. This is our snorkeling course and we will train in the pool first. Afterwards, we will take you to the outdoor teaching, including Longdong, Jiao Liuqi and Green Island. We also take students to cross Sun Moon Lake. We also have windsurfing courses, which also start with training in the pool. Then go to Breeze Canal to do outdoor teaching. We have also done the coaching license study. I have also been to Bali for sailing lessons. We enjoy riding the waves on the Tamsui River. Next, we will explain marine education. How to implement a canoe course in the Tamsui River. First, let's take stock of what resources are available in the Tamsui River. In the early days, fishermen had to paddle their boats with their own hands. Later, the use of wind power device wind sails to make the boat more convenient and rapid movement. But nowadays there are no sampans with wind sails along the Tamsui River. Currently, this can only be done in a recreational canoe format. Next, let's watch the video of boating in Tamsui River. Next, we will discuss the resource conditions of the Tamsui River separately, respectively, natural environmental risks, human history and natural ecology to explore. In terms of natural environmental risk conditions in the Tamsui River, due to the tidal influence of the Tamsui River, the winter season is affected by the northeast monsoon. Even inland rivers are prone to waves and low winter temperatures. This also increases the risk of engaging in water activities. Therefore, it is necessary to first examine whether the natural conditions are compatible with low-risk sea conditions for water activities. Therefore, we have to explore the following issues when boating in the Tamsui River. Whether each of its natural risk conditions is consistent with low risk. From this table, we can see that the suitable season for boating in Tamsui River is from May to August every year. And in terms of biological risk in water, since the Tamsui River estuary is located at the junction of fresh water and seawater, abundant fish resources, therefore, it is necessary to choose the equipment suitable for water activities. To avoid biological attack in water, the former Tamsui Shalom seawater site is a place for sharks and green turtles. In the early years, the Tamsui River was unpolluted and the estuary was rich in fishery products. Poultry and livestock carcasses drifting out of Taipei Basin again. Many sharks are tempted to follow the high tide into the river to feed. When the tide is out, the sharks then follow the water to the sea near Shalom. 
Next is the geo-environmental risk due to the estuary section of the Tamsui River. The topography is mostly mud flats or seals due to the gradient of the substrate tends to change slowly, slowing down the flow rate of this river section. As a result, a large area of mud is often exposed at low tide, which is not conducive to the docking of ships. This satellite image shows the Tamsui River estuary. We can see that Tamsui is on the concave bank and Bali is on the rugged bank. As a result, the current on the right bank of the Tamsui River is relatively swift. The left bank is relatively slow and therefore more prone to sedimentation in Bali. This is a water sports center located in Bali. From this photo you can find, at low tide, a large marsh will appear at Bali. And from this perspective, we can see more clearly, the left bank in Bali is not conducive to water sports. Next, let's talk about the human and historical conditions of Tamsui. Tamsui is rich in cultural assets and its diversity of buildings and places. And there is a wide range of specialties and snacks with rich human resources. Secondly, in its natural ecological conditions, the Tamsui River Basin is rich in ecological resources and contains three natural reserves. An animal sanctuary with abundant coastal wetlands. There are a considerable number of species including birds, amphibians and freshwater fish species. The most important plant resource in the Tamsui River is the Candelia. Next, let's talk about the use of the Tamsui River as a Components related to the subject of marine education. First of all, Tamsui study can be divided into two types, narrow and broad. A narrow definition of regional studies that focus on Tamsui areas. The broad definition includes Tamsui areas. The various phenomena that occur as the object of study. From this diagram, we can see that the concept of Tamsui study will be there are five concepts for integrating marine education programs, include marine recreation, marine society, marine culture, marine science, and marine resources. Each concept is paired with an issue related to the Tamsui region. Next, let's talk about the Tamsui River Canoe. Development of Marine Education Curriculum Analysis. We combine the charm of storytelling to allow these students who have not participated in local tours. The narration is embedded in the context of human history. We have planned the following three types of courses. 1. Humanities and History. 2. Ecological Interpretation Course. 3. Leisure Fishing Experience. Planning for the Humanities and History Program. Ideas for Taiwan's World Heritage Potential. Through efficient interpretation on the Tamsui River. Evoking students' feelings for heritage sites. Establishing the concept of conservation of heritage sites. Humanities and history course lectures focus on Tamsui River estuary ancient monuments. This photo is in front of the monuments, doing rowing and history guided courses. Next is the ecological explanation course. The ecological interpretation course is based on natural areas bringing students closer to nature through interpretive education and field experience activities, combining ecotourism with canoeing deep into the mangrove forest among the wooded waterways, experience the rare mangrove ecology. There are three important mangrove ecological reserves on the Tamsui River, rowing in the mangrove waterway, close-up viewing of tide crabs and mudskippers. Lastly, the leisure fishery experience, Tamsui River had a culture of raking clams in the early days. We paddled a canoe to the central sandbar of the Tamsui River, find clams and cooperate with fishermen and live tour and operation for cultural historians. Let's take a look at this picture. At high tide, from Tamsui to Bali, the ferry is able to sail in a straight line. But when the tide is out, the sandbar will be exposed. At this point, the ferry has to take a detour to avoid being stranded. A sandbar in the Tamsui River during the Japanese era. It is the drop-off point for seaplanes. The sandbar of Tamsui River is located here in the picture. Next, 
Let's take a look at the video taken on the sandbar. This photo shows a sandbar in the Tamsui River with many clans rowing on the Tamsui River through actual experience and through the introduction of marine education courses, all the way from history to the environment that Vale is facing today. Thank you for listening. This is the end of the Tamsui River Canoeing Course.